I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction. Here with a three minute cattle market update for Wednesday, September the 28th. And this market is falling like a lead balloon. And it uh, goes to show you that little rally that we had two weeks ago uh, was short lived and I guess just kind of a speed bump on the way continuing down the hill. Uh, it's kind of a surprise to people that, that we didn't find more of a bottom here. It would help a little bit if these uh, technical analysts would quit telling us that uh, the market keeps showing signs that it's bottomed out and everything. All of the fundamental guys are saying, well, you know, we don't really see a bottom to this thing yet. Something's got to happen fundamentally for the cattle guys to get ahead and, and start getting some bottom put in this market and, and start uh, getting something solid that we can build on. Last week sure wasn't that. We had an incomplete uh, dispersal of our show list, uh, leaving guys with a lot more cattle on the show list now. Uh, it's going to be hard to get any leverage. We're, we're certain to have a, a lower fat cattle market this week and now the board down the limit on a Tuesday and, and just it's hurting our feeder cattle again and everything's just kind of against the, the cattle guys again. You look at the cattle futures, live cattle on the October contract for Monday was down 45. Tuesday down to $3 limit to end the day on Tuesday at 103.82. Feeder cattle October contract Monday was down a buck 32. Tuesday down $4.20 to end the day on Tuesday at 126.85. We haven't seen numbers like that for quite a while. The weighted average on last week's uh, minimal negotiated fat cattle trade on only 40,400 head in the five area feeding region showed your live st uh, weighted average on steers was 105.89 which was down 3.47 and uh, dressed market was 167.09 down $2.80. Uh, the end of the week there, we did see the Southern Plains of Kansas and Texas sell some late sales at 107, but hardly any to speak of, not enough to even establish a market uh, to start trade, let alone wind trade up. And, and we see that our weighted average was, uh, was way off of 106 because there, there wasn't enough 107 to prop that up. Your Nebraska sales were from 104 to 107 and dress sales from 166 to 168 there. Uh, corn harvest is getting into full swing now, 15% uh, done as of USDA report on early in the week there. Uh, that's four points below the five year average so we're a little bit behind because it's been so wet. Still a lot of flooding in eastern Iowa, it's going to be a while before those guys can really get in the field uh, to get that corn out of there but the weather's been really nice out in the western corn belt and down the southern plains. Uh, most of the hard red winter wheat's already been sowed and, and it looks like we're going to have a lot of wheat gra uh, winter wheat grazing and, and it looks like it's going to be pretty rank too because we've got some subsoil moisture. You look at your CME uh, feeder cattle index 136.81 that was really through uh, Monday sales there. Real time index all the way up through late Tuesday uh, is lower than that of course because your markets on Tuesday were no good. 134.03 cattle on feed didn't really amount to that much. It, it, it was pretty much neutral, but uh, I guess you could lend a little bit of bearish tone on there on your placements, but it was a, a on feed to inventory 101 and your uh, placements were 115 and marketing's at 118. It's just kind of a negative tone whenever you see that huge placement number at 15% above a year ago, even though it wasn't that much different than what uh, your analyst had predicted at pretty much 113 on the average, but that's just a big number that kind of weighs heavy and, and especially your guys in Chicago are not used to seeing a big number like that. It just kind of gives them a bearish tone. Oklahoma City at 5,200 head on Monday. Feeder cattle five to eight bucks lower. Some of those real heavy cattle weighing over 850. Guys still want something to feed and they have the best chance of, of, of losing the least money is those uh, big heavy feeders. Uh, your calves steady to five bucks lower. Some of your, your middleweight heifer calves were 10 bucks lower, especially on those soft ballers there. Joplin's cattle, calves and yearlings both three to six dollars lower. Something on Cattle Market Central here, and if you haven't gone on to cattlemarketcentral.com, got your log in and started playing with this thing, you're really missing the boat if you have any interest in analyzing the market at all. But uh, one thing you can do here is uh, you look at uh, Phillips, South Dakota here on Tuesday, 
they uh, they had a, a pretty decent sale. It was bigger. It was actually better than the light run that they had uh, last week, but still just uh, a, a lot lower than what we really expected to see cattle selling, especially these calves. This calf market is not very good, but you see on there quoted was four load lots of five weight steers in Phillips, South Dakota, selling from 142 to 147.75. And you think back, what what happened a year ago? All you got to do on Cattle Market Central is do is create a custom report right there, plug in the same week a year ago, and look back in there. Let's, let's compare four similar loads of calves there, selling from two twelve fifty to two twenty nine. That's sixty to eighty bucks lower in a year's time there at a, at a similar sale and and just a week apart because they, they kind of got off track there running a big sale every other week, but still the same time of year. I even had one load of, of 524 pound steer calves there at the at the year ago sale at 239.50. And remember, that was like 60 to 80 bucks lower than the previous year. So we have just lost a ton of markets of, of price on these calves and, and uh, market position. And, and these calves are just worth so much less than they were there a couple of years ago. It's really hard to uh, believe, but uh, that's three minutes and we'll talk to you on Friday.